Hello and welcome back to Penguin Plays Hot Wine 4 with the Kaiserreich Mod. We are back in Legionnaire Italy. Now, as you know, in the last couple of episodes, we've been fighting against the Internationale, which is now only the Union of Britain, as we have taken out the SRI in all of Italy, except for, of course, the lands that are now occupied by the French Republic down here, Cilicia and Calabria. And, of course, we have Sassaria, still held by Sardinia, as well as, you know, Sardinia and Cagliari. We also took out the... Hmm. What were you again? Commune of France. That's it. We took out the Commune of France. Some of the lands have been in the... Are now in the... Yeah. Are now in the possession of the... Of... Ah, oddly enough, this province, despite being half ours, half Spanish, it goes to us. You are the Kingdom of Spain as well as the French Republic. A bit of lands went to Germany, because none of this is the peace deal. This is all just occupation zones. Very, very messy occupation zones. Hopefully they'll get smoothed out later. Oh, and that's right, in the last couple of episodes, Mongolia Strunk. You wily bastard, Roman von Ungen Stenberg. So, one of the primary powers would now be the Great Connet, as well as the Co-Prosperity Sphere. And then there's... What are you... Oh, Entente. Hey, look at that. Little buddy, he joined the Entente. Hey, yes. There's a squirrel face. He's fine. Reichspark still has a nice hold on things throughout the world. And also a bit of an axis. The Buenos Aires Lima axis. All in all, not bad. We can't join any factions. And then, of course, there is Silistian... Austria, who we uh, it's gonna kind of gonna be the final boss of this game because we have nowhere near their troops, we have nowhere near their size, and at least they we have nowhere near whatever number of ships they have, which is strange because none of them seem to have any ships of great size. Oh boy! Then we have unfire government. We can keep going. We can go to all adults serve. I would like for this war against you to end. Yeah. I don't think that these landings by... I'm not entirely sure. I'm not entirely sure what's going on there. Kingdom of Spain is landing troops. And up here, it looks like there's a landing by... It doesn't say. So Kingdom of Spain, some gray... Some color. I'm not sure what... Come... Commonwealth of Canada, they're trying to retake the home islands. They're going to be doing that. If the Union of Britain falls, then we can take our points in the war. We are planning to take over the whole of the Italian peninsula. And if we get lucky, which first first plan, move this way. Liguria, Piedmont, uh, Villa di Ostro, anything that has a Sardinia claim, we want now. Because Sardinia, we hope, doesn't have too much. Then, step two, if nobody takes most of Italy... We would want to probably try our hand at getting Nisa, which is over here, Nisa, then Savoy, and potentially Halt Savoy. As owner county to France, but French Republic has a claim on it. It's Savoy land, and one of our kings was at one point uh, Savoy Yard. I think that's what they're called, Savoy Yard? Maybe. But we can just keep going. Our troops are currently at the northern border with Austria. And, yeah, that's not going to be an easy way to go through, is it? You still like your plans. You got some of the best divisions, although they are critically undersupplied. You would take... To Fuemi. Yeah, Fuemi. You, with your troops, you are now garrisons and mostly militia, including the green shirts. Then we have our... Our lovely little... Armored division, which is critically low on, I'm guessing... We've we've been subsidized a lot. We have a little bit of L3s, a little bit of L6s, and subsidized with German tanks, Katschins, Mark 1s and 2s, and some French tanks, even. Probably plan would be Trieste first, or maybe Leibach. Something along those lines. We are... Hmm? Uh, factories were sabotaged. We're basically out of this war. We can't do any operations against the Union of Britain as we have no real navy. 
In fact, I don't think we have any navy of any kind. Yes. Production, construction at the moment is done with military factories. But we're going to need to modernize our navy, don't we? Let's do that into Liguria and maybe possibly not Nisa just yet. And this area can be done ahead of time. Everybody up to the top. Including repairs. Come on, everybody up. We can do those later. Yeah, defenses we can do later. Then... You guys back to the top. And then you and you. Yeah, something like that. Fruitly. It's gonna be need to be done eventually. As well as possibly some civilian factories. However, we can just use more of our troops. How about we take half this force? Something like that. Except for the Alpine, not the Alpine. Nope. Fine. Nah. These troops, please. Not the Alpines. Send them to his army to be used on attempt. Yes, good. And with you, you can send one of yours as well, as you say that you require at least 27 to be able to do it. Minimum divisions. Eh, some of these aren't so important. We don't care about what happens up there. That's not even in our technical zone of control. It's German Empire. This one's technically ours. This one's not ours. This one's ours. Not ours. Ours. Not ours. Rousselon is ours. Although the... Hmm, some of this area is not so big on resistance. Interesting. Let's... Let's say some... Oh yeah, we can still do that, huh? Air modifier. Heavy bomb. We already got one for fighters. Maybe one f cruiser manufacturer. Ooh. The Arsenal de Venezia. And cruiser manufacturer. Small ship cruisers. Capital ship manufacturer. You gotta go capital ships. They're just too good in this game. And then we can look at managed occupied territories. Coming to France. We're on the gentle push right now. Local manpower down 100. Occupation cost up. Gentleness is res resistance growth down. Local resources, manpower, and factories down. Hmm. We could go harshest on the Social Republic of Italy. Local manpower down 100% versus current 80%. Trying to. We could go gentle. Resistance growth. But it means less factories. It's all difficult, huh? Let's see. You are. You're now at zero. You're at zero. You, we don't care. Improved artillery. Nice. Okay. It's 1941. We could go improved artillery again. We Not 1942, so we can't do that. We already have something there. We could go for construction as yes. We need to rebuild our nation. Our tattered nation. We need to rebuild it once again. And I'm look. I'm still looking at you, Ticino. I may not have a use. A new, I may not have a national focus that can help out with this, but there's no one for watching you. As for in here, we need Italy's uniform. What? German Empire has taken the state of the Kingdom of Georgia, who somehow was able to fight on even after the war was done. We are back. We are back. We are back. Oh. Okay, so we have the Russian Empire now held by Ivan the Seventh Ho Hohenzollern. Is that of a similar family to you? I know the I recognize Hohenzollern. I believe that's a Prussian lineage. Then we have the Don Cuban Union back under same guy who was deposed earlier. The Georgian Kingdom under yeah. When are people gonna learn? The Caucasians are actually pretty Caucasian. They're not quite as Middle Eastern. And then we have Baku. Or no, we have Azerbaijan and Armenia. Basically the exact same. No, no. Azerbaijan is its own separate entity. And then Armenia is different. Gotcha. Armenia is not in this faction. Mongolia, do you have world conquest plans by any chance? I know that you certainly should have claims on all of this. But you're not going to be able to act out of them. Yes, thank you for your things. Resistance to occupation is still prevalent. Throughout Avignon. 
what is our plan here? We're supposed to have people to help, but they're not showing up. Okay, then. How about a couple more of these guys? Prescia, Milano. You guys join the resist join the stopping of the resistance. And the non question pack from the Russian Empire. We don't have any plans to attack you, my friend. My friend. I don't think I see any plans to attack Britain. But I know that the whole world wants to. Ain't that right? <laughs> like, do you have friends in America? And if Combined Syndicalists of America did decide to join the war, their only resistance would be a weakened New England and a weakened Commonwealth of Canada, as their troops would be elsewhere. But at the same time, even if you conquer the Commonwealth of Canada, you would still have all of Europe to deal with. I find that funny. Japan, what are you up to? You're doing screens. Just like them screens. As for us, what is our production of anything at any given time? We've got a lot of problems with this. That's why I'm making infantry equipment ones. Although, hypothetically, we don't necessarily need them quite as much anymore. I could switch you over to something else, like a... Something we inevitably need, but don't really need right now. How about I switch you over to anti-aircraft guns? Because they just take steel. That's all I need. Also, we're getting political power pretty quickly. It's probably because we just keep letting it run. We go for a chief of the Navy, decisive battle, indirect approach, decisive battle doctrine. Hmm. Yeah, we might as well. Because that is usually the strategy I take. As for you, are we not stopping them yet? At the moment, it's just there. Colombia has declared one. Hmm. Centro America. You want your claims back, although for some reason you don't have Panama? Why? Colombia in real life did own Panama at one point. I mean, I'm surprised it's not like a way for you to get a claim on Panama. Why did you declare war then? Also, peace treaty. No, not peace treaties. Not aggression packs from Georgia. When the devil went down the Georgia. You go into that section. You stay out of it. Another potential naval invasion up in northern England in in the March. Turn down the volume for me. It's a bit loud. I've been turning it down in the post videos, but sometimes I just want to watch this. Now then. I did get the chance to go onto the subreddit for Kaiserreich, and I got to read some of the code for triggers for Austria to, after the destruction of the SRI, after the signed peace treaty where they don't exist. Ooh, Japan declared war on Mongolia. That's going to be an interesting fight. How many troops do you have? Maintenance company one. It's a nice thing to have. You got 90. That's probably not going to be enough against all of most of China and Japan and Transamore combined. I'm guessing Transamore is thrunk. Transamore is going to be the victor. Okay, things we can do. We can go field hospital as we are kind of focused on just beefing up our units to the best of their ability. Which, since we got those one things. Logistics company in. Good. Instead of support anti-air, we go maintenance company. Thank you. And in Division Fantaria 2s, they are now the meat shield unit. And they have logistics company. They. Huh. They're 20. Mm. I gave them logistics to make them a little bit better, though. I might want to give them their anti tank back. Although it doesn't look like they stand against many tanks. That's one of the things I noticed about this mod. It's not very tank heavy, not tank oriented. It's a lot of infantry. A lot of renewed attacks, some good, some probably going to be pushed back. We're just waiting for that war to roll up. As for here, rubber processing. Do we have an issue with getting rubber at the moment? We are trading for rubber, we are trading for oil, and we are trading for tungsten. We got plenty of steel. We got more steel than we can do with. So how about... This is just add one to every refinery. This is add one. Or excavation. While we're doing it, we can go excavation. What's funny is that in previous patches... I should I should finish my earlier story. I went to the subreddit. I got to read the code about Austrian triggers. 
and it is, at least in that trigger, it's the one where Austria can demand for the Republic of Italy to become a monarchy again, where they can either refuse or accept. That only triggers after the SRI is completely wiped out through a peace treaty, as in uh, does not exist, is in the code. And then the other option is, the other parameter is that we have to be a republic. It can't be with the national populists. Don Cuban Union? Yes, thank you. So, I don't think we'll be getting that specific trigger. Whether or not there's another event for Austria to try and attack Legionnaire Italy, I don't know. I didn't get to see that. I'm not about to break into my own files and try to find that. However, it is at least somewhat nice to know that they can't ask me to become a monarchy. I have to have to be a republic for that. Which is also a little bit silly, because... The way that they balanced Italy is not exactly all that good. They have the SRI, which has the backing of the international from the beginning of the game. They have the southern states with the Pope in Rome, and then Italy. They should really get some aid from the monarchist, uh, either the monarchist German Empire or the monarchist Austria. Perhaps if the war or, yeah, they have their defensive treaties. I remember that being in their focus tree. They have the option of going for a defensive treaty with one of the three preeminent powers, either Germany, Entente, or Austria. And they really should do that quicker, I feel, because they just kind of get steamrolled by the entire power of all the nations involved in the international, especially when it comes to navy as we happen to be a very large coastline, and naval invasions are very simple. So I ran declared war on the Afghanistan Emirates. You should just have your own faction, German engineers. Well, you are social democrats. The Republic of Iran, they're going to Persia. Then Somalia is making pretty good headway into Abyssinia. And Austria still owns Abu Dhabi and Qatar. Although Bahrain is owned by Republic of Iran. Hmm. Also, Belarusia. I guess you took all your cores in that peace deal, didn't you? Socialist Republic of Ukraine is left kind of high and dry. They have some lands that should be Iron Guard Romania, which I couldn't help in the long run. Then, hey, you. Are you still mostly populist? Yeah, you're mostly populist. Enforce the Colonial Act. Oh, is the Entente going to go to war for Deutsch, uh, Deutsch Middle Africa? Now, I'd like to see that. Go to war with the Reichspact. Meanwhile, are you about to attack the Austrians? Are the Austrians able to attack you? Embrace pluralism. No, no. You went for status quo. Dualism restored. And then I'm not sure if there's anything to... Conquer Italy. So, military occupation, Greater Austrian Empire, Italian question, conquer Italy, secure Italian lands, and exploit Italy. Not going to happen because they didn't take it. Meaning, hmm. So, what is a plan they can take to specifically go after either the Germans or anything else? They have a syndicalist menace. Gets event German war effort, intervention in Romania. That was during the Romanian Civil War. But it's already done. Approaching Romania. It's already done. And then we have No, Sardinia, I want your island. Gimme your island. We just have to sit back. We can't really do anything. Mm, two years until we get our Battleship 2 out. Quite annoying, really. As for the rest of it, plenty of infantry equipment to go around. Plenty of medium tanks. That's right, we're not actually building any medium tanks. Light tanks need more. Artillery needs more. Support equipment definitely needs more. Tornanta air, important, but we're starting to make a little bit down here too. Uh, toad anti-tank is something we're actually using. We got plenty of motorized, more motorized we can know what to do with. We get a little bit of that. A little bit of that. Uh, strategic bomber. Mm, we're not really using you yet, but we can have a little bit of that. As well as tactical bombers. Uh, toad anti-air is coming up to be important. We can get more of them. You can get more of you, we'll put you fairly low on the list. Uh, you seem to be pretty important. Fiat's gonna go down to the very bottom. 
well, almost the very bottom, just because we have such a surplus. You go in front of the planes, as planes are lesser of importance. And then let's check on our... Yeah, we're just over this region. That's all we do now. It's all we do. Japan is declared in the Siamese People's Republic. Uh-huh. When did you happen? I thought you were... I don't remember you. So, you have... That's a very interesting plan, Japan. But with that, thank you for watching. I'll see you guys in the next episode. Bye-bye!